the sugar babes, Bubble Pop Kids here. We got candy bonanza time. Let's do this. Bubble, bubble candy bonanza with like, with like Baskin Robbins. Yes! So excited guys, you know I love chopping squishies and my lip gloss, but I also love my candy. I love testing out new ones. And right here I have a table filled with crazy sweets. I haven't tried most of these. I don't think I've tried any of them. They look really good. Look at this. Oh, this mini gumball dispenser or whatever it is. It's too cute for words. It's tiny. I'm looking at the table here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten new candies to test out. Here you go, Bubble. Kick it off with this one. The Happy Party Mix. Assorted gummy candies. Ooh. Look at that. They are yummy and fun. Little gomitas fritidas. Whatever that means. Look at that. We are kicking it off. Uh, I'm already hyper, so the candy is going to make me super hyper. I found this box of gummies. Now, I have never seen a box so big with such a variety. It is the Happy Gummy Potty Mix. Oh, it's a party mix because it's assorted with mini burger, sandwich, hot dog, ice cream. Like, what's going on? Che Time to waste. Let's rip this baby open and see what we have. So many different ones. I see little sandwiches. This is a good mix. That's a lot of gummies, unbelievable. You guys, I have never seen some of these. Look at this one here. It is a little gummy sandwich. <gasps> the wrapper is so, so cute. Look at that. And all I could kind of compare these to are like the SpongeBob Krabby Patties. That's what I think they're gonna taste like. <gasps> Look at that, oh, it's too, too cute. Two little pieces of white bread. It looks like we got some tomato, some cheese, and maybe some lettuce. Let me try. Oof, that was chewy, chewy and sweet. I loved it. Kind of had like a fruity taste. And look at the other ones. We got an ice cream cone. Oh, so adorbs. We get a little hot dog. Ooh, the burger looks super cool. It's got kind of like, maybe it's sour. It's got like a little bit of sugar on the outside. Looks a little different than these. What else? Oh, let me see the ice cream. Let's see it up close. It's so adorable and mini. Look at that. Like a puzzle. Let me try. Mmm. Creamy. Ice cream one was super good. You know the funny thing about that ice cream? It was creamy. It was like a strawberries and cream. The sandwich was more like a fruity flavor. And look at this burger. It's got kind of like, I think it's gonna be sour. It's got a little bit of sugar on the outside. Get a bun. Let me see. Tasted like a warhead. What is this? A warhead challenge? Yeah. Now that I got a good look at these, and they are so delish, really like a good pinata or like a party bag filler. We get the burger. We get this little sandwich. So cute. Looks like white bread. Ooh, I didn't show you this one. We get the hot dog. Look at that mustard. And dessert. Little coney. These are the cutest. These are literally like too cute and miniature for words, and there's like hundreds of them. Perfect. There you go, sweetie pie. Some little gummy party mix. Let's move along. Ooh, some love potion. Baskin Robbins. Ladies and gentlemen, may I show you the Baskin Robbins candy. Now, I have never seen these before. My friend Colleen picked them up on her trip to Tokyo, and I just, I think it's the cutest little thing. All I could tell is a scoop of ice cream, little chocolate. I think they're like ice cream flavors. Let's check it out. I literally didn't even know they like had Baskin Robbins in Tokyo. Like, do they have Dunkin' Donuts too? Crazy. Ooh, little packets. Here we go. And I had no idea they were in like these little individual packets. I thought it was going to be a tray. Don't ask me why. I thought it was like a tray of candies. These are even better. The perfect for sharing or saving. Now let's check them out. See what they are. Little hearts. Here goes. This is Cherry's Jubilee flavor. Cherry's Jubilee ice cream inside of it. What's going on? <laughs> you guys, oh, I wish you could try these. <gasps> this tastes like there is a scoop of ice cream. I mean, it's not cold, but it has that ice cream look and texture, and it is definitely Cherry's Jubilee, one of my favorite flavors. Delish. And then on top, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a little bit of a raspberry or like a cherry jelly. Chocolate is a maze. Perfect candy. Oh, this is the love potion recipe. A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of cherry jelly, and some ice cream candy. 
and it's only for sale in Japan. Kind of funny because I have never seen these and now I'm looking at the box. It says for sale in Japan only. What's that about? We got to get some of these here. They are delish. Basically, it tastes like ice cream rolled up in a chocolate. Delicious. Bubble, you are giving these to me and I'm eating them for dinner. Or dessert. What else? They're delicious. Switching it up a little, we had the gummies, the chocolate. Now we have a little cup, I mean a tiny little cup of cotton candy. I have never ever seen anything like this. Of course my friend got it in Tokyo at some little candy shop. And just look at that cute little picture. It's like little candies and fruits. And it's a light purple color, like a lavender. Let's test it. Looks so yummy. Bobby, like what is the deal with this? It looks like cotton candy in a yogurt cup. I mean, come on, open it are so adorable. You know they're so cute if you put them in little party bags or if you're just putting it as a, like a little treat in a lunch box, like a little portable cup. Really cute. Ah! Ooh, it's sealed really good. There it is. Ooh, it looks like cotton. <laughs> it looks like real wool. Oh, this literally tastes like Great Santa. It's got little pictures of fruit, but it tastes like soda. Ooh, look how fluffy it is. Ah! Oh good, you guys, I have tried so many cotton candies. First of all, the texture on this is kind of weird. I have to say, it's like real wool. It's not like that soft cotton candy. It's kind of rough, but as soon as you taste it, it tastes like grape soda. It's fizzy, mm, it's so good. But I just gotta get over this texture. Kind of looks like doll hair or something. Kind of gross, but delicious at the same time. Little mini cotton candy cup. Candy cups rock the world. They are amazing. They are miniature, but bursting with flavor. So good! Bubble teenies, they represent to you the tiniest soda machine in your world. Just joking. Bubble gum. Everybody, next up we have probably the cutest, most interesting little gumball machine I've ever seen. Now, when my friend got me this, I was looking at it. I thought it was like a toy little soda machine like for dolls or for Barbies until I flipped it and I saw those little gumballs. This thing is amazing. Look at that. It's got little cams. So, so cute. And I don't know how it works. Let's give it a test. Bubble watch and learn. You pull this down and you read the instructions. It says press. Here goes. What's going on? Let me try that again. Open. Press here. There. How cool is that? You guys, how cute is that? And how cool would it be if like the little soda bottles fell with it too? I'd love that. I was trying to see if those little things come out, but they don't. Got some gumballs. Let me try. Bubble. They taste like sour double bubble. Bubble. Sour double bubbles? Oh yeah. Delish. Another little point I must make. Sometimes in these little gumball machines, the candy isn't so good. It's kind of sweet. These are delicious. They are fresh and soft and they're kind of sour. Ooh, one more. Oh, look at the different drink choices in this machine. You can have black coffee, you can have fruit soda, or you can have pop cola. Isn't that nice? And if you hit this little press button too many times, you could just pop them out. I see there's like a little door in the back. Pop them right on in. Ooh! Let's get some silly gumballs, shall we? Come on. Looks cray. He literally looks like he's been chopping trees all day and he's about to chop that little pink bunny. What is going on with this candy bubble? Pretty pause, we are moving on from that little gumball machine to this crazy candy. Colleen got me, I mean, she's getting me all this wacky candies. It is such a pretty package, it's so colorful, but it looks like little tree stumps or little cookies. What is it? Exactly what it is. It's like little tree stump cookies or something. He's been chopping trees. He looks like a ninja. Oh, I can't figure this out. Best thing to do is just open it <laughs> and figure out what's happening here. Oh, that is so cute. Look how that opens. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we got a tray. Mmm. That'll do this. Put a little tray and shout it here. Like a little, like a little candy star. Uh, guys, it does kind of look like the picture. That is what it's supposed to look like. They look like little tree stumps. And they actually look good. They look like cookie with a little bit of chocolate. Let me try. 
double teenies. I cannot believe I'm saying this. I think I found my favorite candy so far. A cookie, whatever this thing is. <gasps> I've never tasted anything like this. First of all, the chocolate is so milky. It's very creamy, delicious chocolate. But this little thing inside, it's a cookie, but it's like a weird one. Yeah, a bubble, it's weird. It's weird, like whatever. I can't describe it. Ooh, it's melting on my finger. It kind of tastes like a sugar cookie or a shortbread, but even better. It's super light. I just, I've never had a cookie like this. Mmm, it's so good. Tree stumps. Love them. Hello, next candy in your bonanza. You got some quinoa jelly. Is this fish food or like what? What is it? Next up, I have, I, I don't even know. This was in a bag Colleen brought me filled with candy and I still cannot make heads or tails of it. Now when I look at this, I kind of see like a fish tail. I see like a fish tail. There's some Japanese writing. I can't read it. It says quinoa jelly. And when I flip it around, I see some kind of weird, like, liquidy stuff and a fishy. I don't think this is food. I literally don't think this is food. This is some type of, like, toxic. And that thing up there, that's gross. Now, so far, I have not hesitated. I've tried all of this stuff. This stuff, I'm a little nervous. I don't know. It looks gross. I mean, the color is, like, gray. It looks slimy. I don't know. Just open it. Ugh. Eee! Oh, what is that? Ooh. Bubble, bubble, the jelly. It's spilling all over your table. Look at the quinoa jelly. It's disgusting. It smells like a sewer. Oh, ew, I think I want to throw up. Oh, you guys, what is this stuff? I mean, I asked her what this is, and she said it's candy. She said it's a really, like, popular candy in Tokyo. The kids love it. And I just don't want to look at it. It's like a squishy. Oh. Oh, this is such a mess. Ooh, I cannot even touch it. It's got a fishy inside. No way. I think that's candy. At first I thought it was like a little piece of plastic. That is like a it's like a gummy. Ooh, try it. Quinoa jelly should not be sold anywhere. In America, in Tokyo, it's disgusting. Look at that. It looks like spoiled jello. Ooh, there was this little gummy fish. I tried it. Oh, it had the grossest flavor and there's something here. Ew, it looks like a grape or like an Orby. I can't try it. I, I just cannot try this thing. Ugh, it smells like sugar. Oh, does this look normal to you? Does this look normal to you? Does it look like candy? I don't think so. Well guys, ooh, that last one was just, oh, it took my appetite, but I still got three more sweetie candies to test out and believe me, I think they're gonna be good. Nothing like that, nothing slimy. Look at this. These look like little toys. They don't even look like candies. You got Hello Kitty, a panda, Kuropi. They're beautiful. And actually, before I even open these things, they look like erasers. They look like tiny little erasers. They don't even look like candies. So cute and detailed. Look at that little Hello Kitty. Let's try them. So cute. Bubba, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this candy? Look at it. Whoa, these things are wild. They are so, so crazy. Look at this little penguin. Look at that, it's like a clear. All I could think is they're like those hard sucker candies that you suck on. They're pretty hard. Let me taste. I don't even want to eat it, they're so cute. Tastes like cotton candy, some kind of like a bubble gum flavor. They are delish. Mm. Try the Hello Kitty. Maybe. Bubba, look at the Hello Kitty. It matches your nails and it looks like a bead. Delish, delish. I think these were handmade, homemade. These are not your average candies. The Hello Kitty one was kind of like buttery and creamy. Look at this little ducky. Oh, I cannot even take the cuteness on these. They look like artwork. Mmm, it's like a lemon. So there you go, you little bubble teens. I've never seen candies like this. They almost look like erasers or like little glass beads. They are delicious. They're beautiful. Love them. Bubba, I've got to put these back in this little pouch. We gotta preserve these. They are amazing. <laughs> look out, Bubba! It's the Pop Choopy! Pop Choopy! Ooh, look at this little cutie. This is so adorable. It's called the Pop Choopy Flip Up for Fun. It's like one of those little flip pops, but it is so cute. I love that little bear face. And it's a little lolly inside. Yummy. 
Pop Choopy. Pop Choopy. Ah, yeah. Oh, this little Pop Choopy has like an orange lollipop inside. Let's try. Look at this bubble. It's got a little orange arrow. It says flip up for fun. Look at that. Crazy. I'm thinking about it. Maybe Pop Choopies are like little Chupa Choop. That's the brand in Tokyo. Because this is for sure from Japan. Ooh, how do you take it out of here? This lolly is called an orange bow. Watch out for that. Looks like a chupa chup. Ooh. Sour. Baby got an adorable lollipop holder and a delicious pop. This is like a sour orange. Really good. Tasty. Let me pop it on in there. There you go. This little pop chupy guy is a lollipop saver. You can put it in here, save it for later, and take it out when you want some. Genius. Oh, I can't believe it. The worst part for me, we are on to the tenth and final. And look what we got. Another little gumball machine. Oh, this is basically the tiniest gumball machine in the world. It's miniature. Pop it on out of here. It's got a little wrap everywhere. What's going on with it? So cute. You guys, I've never seen one like this. It's like a mini little spiral one. Look at that. Oh, I'm trying to get the gumballs out, but it ain't working. This thing is horrible. For real. Look at this. Don't work. Well, I have to see what this one looks are a little bit deceiving because it looks so cute, but it just doesn't work. I can't get a gumball. I've been trying for like 10 minutes. Going on. So bad. Alrighty, Bubble. So let's compare. This one was epic. Look at that. This one, not so much. Doesn't work. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. I guess we lost this one because it is horrible. Can't get those gumballs out. At least we got this little cutie. Well, teens, I thought we were finished. I lined up all the candy so we could take a last look. But I forgot about this one. Now look at this little thing. It's kind of like a little cup. And it's got these adorable little like chocolates. They look like little beads or something like that. Final taste test. Ooh. Oh, these literally look like beetles. You know beetles? They don't look like candy. Let me see you. Mmm. Chocolate. And I did the final taste test on these little cuties. Oh, you guys, these are so, so good. They are all taste like white chocolate, like a super creamy white chocolate. And they look like beetles. They look like those little crafting beads. But they are delish. Really, really creamy. Mmm. So good. Save some for me, Bubba. Yeah. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Another candy banana. So many cute ones. I guess the only ones I didn't like was that little gumball machine and the fish jelly. Whatever that fish jelly was. Ugh. So gross. Don't even get me started on the fish jelly. So gross. I think my fave was the soda gumball machine and the tree. The tree scum cookies. So weird, but delicious. And we are going to have so many more fun ones coming up on the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.